In this video, we will go over the distance transform. As I mentioned previously, the requirements for the watershed algorithm are that each object in the image must be a basin, and the center of each object should be near the bottom of the basin. Now I'm going to assume that you have managed to segment your objects and you now have a mask that looks something like this. So in this example image here, the white pixels are true and the black pixels are false. Now the question here is, how do we go from a black and white mask like this into an image that gives us a, a series of basins? And the answer is to use something called the distance transform. Now the distance transform computes the distance between each pixel and the nearest non-zero pixel. In MATLAB, the distance transform is carried out by using the function bwdist. The, B, the function takes in one input argument, which is a logical array containing a mask, and it has one output argument, which is the distance transform, and it is a double. Let's look at an example to explain how the distance transform works. Say you have an input mask that looks like this. There are two true pixels in the mask, and every other pixel is false. When you carry out the distance transform, you will get a matrix that looks something like this. Now remember that the distance transform computes the distance for, of each pixel to the nearest non-zero pixel. All right? So in this case here, the true pixels have a distance of zero because they are true. The next neighboring pixels have a value of one. And then along the diagonal, it has a value of 1.4142 or square root of two. Let's switch over to MATLAB and see how this works. So I have defined a variable m that contains this image as we had in our example. Let's see what happens when I run the distance transform. The command is dd equals bwdist and parentheses m. And if I display the variable explorer, you can see that you can see that where we had those true pixels, the value are zero, and then the neighboring pixels are one, and so on and so forth. Now at first glance, it might appear as though the distance transform will give us the data that we need, but it turns out that this is not. So if we look at an example of a mass that has a larger region of trues, such as this, now you can imagine that this is the object that you want to separate. When we calculate the distance transform, all we get for all the true pixels are a value of zero, right? So remember that there are two conditions that we need for the watershed algorithm to work accurately. Each object should be a basin, and also the center of each object should be near the bottom of the basin. And in this case here, we have a series of zeros, which means that there is basically a plateau at the bottom of this object. So it's not quite a basin. Now it might be a little bit easier to visualize what I'm saying if we switch over to MATLAB. I'm going to read in the example image for today, which is circles.png. Now this image should be shipped with MATLAB um, and it should be installed if you have the image processing toolbox installed. So when you display this image, you should see a series of circles that looks like this. Now if I carry out the distance transform as is, And, dis and display this. I'm going to plot this using a mesh plot. This allows us to visualize the distance transform as a three-dimensional object. So here we are. Now if I make this figure a little bit bigger, you can see that we have we are starting to get close to what we need. Each of these objects are indeed in a basin, but the bottom of each object is flat, right? And remember, what we really need is that we want the center of each object to be the bottom of the basin, if possible. Now, it turns out that we can get what we need by carrying out a few arithmetic and logical operations. So the first operation we need to do is to invert the mask. And the reasons why will be apparent in a little bit. But to invert the mask, you can use the not operator, which is the tilde. Now the not operator converts true values to false and vice versa. Once you've inverted your mask, you can then use bwdist to compute the distance transform and you should get a matrix that looks something like this. 
And what you'll notice is that the center of each object should be a high value. And so this actually kind of looks a little bit like a hill. Now remember, we need the object to be basins. So to convert a hill to a basin, you simply take the negative. And this is what you'll get. Now I'd like to point out here that the object is a basin because it is negative. And you'll notice now that the center of this object is the bottom of the basin. All right, let's switch over to MATLAB and try this out. So again, we're going to use that uh, value for circles.png, which is stored in this variable m. The image looks like this. Now, like I was saying, the first step of what you want to do is to invert the mask. And you can do that by using the not operator, which is the tilde symbol. If I display this inverted mask, you'll see that basically the true pixels will put the false and the false pixels would put the true, like so. Now, once we have the mask, we will compute the distance transform using the function bwdist on the inverted mask. Now, if we display this distance transform as a three-dimensional object using the mesh function, you'll see that each object is currently a hill. And we don't want that. We need to convert each object into a basin. And so the easiest way to do that is simply just to take the negative of the distance transform. Now, if I replot this data, you can see that this is exactly what we want. So each object is a basin, and you can see that the center point of each object here corresponds to the uh, lowest point of each basin. And this sets us up nicely to carry out the watershed transform. All right, so just to summarize what we have done in this video, we are using the distance transform to convert the mask into an image that is suitable for watershedding. And we're doing this by carrying out these three steps here. The first step is to invert the mask using the not operator. The second step is to compute the distance transform of the inverted mask. And the third step is to take the negative of that transform. Now you can perform all three steps here in a single command by simply using uh, an expression that looks something like this. dv equals minus dwdist in parentheses tilde mask.